All right, market is going to open in around 40 seconds. Um, <clears throat> right now we have this 15 minute low that very well could be used as liquidity. Um, we have this hourly imbalance that can still be filled some more. Um, <clears throat> we have this as another hourly imbalance from this wick up to this wick. And then, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. We have this order block right here. On NASDAQ, we have some of the same. We have an imbalance right here, tiny hourly imbalance within here, and an order block right here, okay? So really what I'm looking for out of NASDAQ and the S&P is I want to be bullish on this. Um, market just opened, so we'll see where market wants to go. But, and right now it looks like it wants to go up. <laughs> um, but we shall see. We'll let market... Um, play out, do its thing, and then um, we'll see where it wants to go, okay? All right, so we pushed up, we took out these highs. I would like to see price potentially come up and take out these highs all the way up here. Okay, um, NASDAQ has been ripping off the first two minutes of market open, and the S&P is doing something rather similar, okay? We'll continue to sit here, chill out, um, and then we'll see what Price wants to do, okay? What? We're just watching and waiting right now. There's nothing much to act on. Waiting for our points of interest to get hit. Let me put you all on to a little sum. What? Huh? What? Huh? What? Huh? What? 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 Hey! 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 Whoa! Hey! What? Hey. Ugh. What? for a sweep of this shit. I would love for Price to give me a sweep of these lows. Huh? What? Yeah. Okay. Hey. 
I don't think we swept out these lows. Yeah, we're yet to we're yet to sweep out these lows. for this piece though. This one was crazy. You gotta let it build. There we go, okay, one of our points of interest has finally been hit. We filled in the whole imbalance on the hourly on this. I would like to, I would like to see us get a little bit lower. watching and waiting literally that's what bruh literally I sit my ass down and have to put on music just to drown out the di the discord freaking chat what is this bullshit yeah this has got to go ha ah, wow calming music where I don't have to listen to a bunch of little boys telling me to play Taylor Swift. Yeah, when you guys are profitable, then come and then come and give me your music requests. Until then, 
I do not want to hear it, bro. I want to hear this. All right, we are currently monitoring the highs to wait for a break of structure and an imbalance to get made. On NASDAQ, I don't like it as much, but it is a very similar setup where we have this five minute fair value gap versus on ES, we're sweeping 15 minute lows within here. See, and we're filling this hourly fair value gap. So it looks like this candle right here is going to break structure to the upside. And then from there, we'll be able to create a fair value gap, hopefully, and get reactions off of that, okay? It looks, again, like a similar situation here is happening with NQ, just a different type of setup. And the reason why I'm not necessarily looking at NQ because where are our targets for NQ? It's going to be these highs right here versus on ES, we have much, much higher targets where we can go. So, Looks like we're about to get the break of structure to the upside. So we will hopefully be able to find a fair value gap that we can enter off of. Cool? Cool. We're looking for this fair value gap to get filled in and then get reactions off of it, okay? NASDAQ, yeah, see, exactly. So NASDAQ just broke one minute structure to the upside off of that five minute imbalance. So what we can do to make ourselves better traders we can still map this out even if we're not going to be taking the trade. We can mark out the fair value gap, right? And we can make a, you know, an educated guess on where market's going to go without placing a trade. I feel like a lot of people get really caught up in, you know, saying I need to take this trade. I need to do this, I need to do that. Um, but you really don't. So Okay, yeah, and if ES gives us a reaction like this straight up out of it, I will be willing to go long. Yeah. Okay. I'm long on S&P. Yeah, similar situation within here where we would want to see price to fill this and then give a reaction off of it. Okay, now we can go ahead and start trying to find, take profits and all that. I'm just seeing how far I want to extend these take profits.
Let me think. What do I want to hear? I want to hear more of this shit. Floating music. So NASDAQ ended up closing underneath this imbalance. Whoa. I'm really hoping that this thing doesn't just fully dump down. That would be horrible. Or not horrible, but... If this, this is a quick exit trade, then I'll just, plain and simple, just be a quick, quick exit day. I'm still not out yet. I have like literally in a centimeter underneath this. So if this shit goes down any lower, I'm out of here. Motion. If we can get back. Okay, so NQ just came down and swept out these 15 minute lows. That in itself could be a huge confluence. Because before then, before this, there was really no higher time frame confluence on this besides the hourly lows down here right so we just came down swept out 15 minute lows S&P is still barely alive we'll keep checking on it this just came down and swept out these lows Motion on this end as well with the sweep of these lows.
Hell yeah, this shit's starting to look good. If we can get back above this high, there's really only one stop left in sight, and it's th this area of liquidity. So if we can get above these highs, that shit would be fire, especially closure above there. And NASDAQ is giving us reactions off the, off the 15 minute. Hey man, shit is playing out perfectly. Make sure price cooperates with us though because it very well could just send that shit down into the pits all the way down to this order block right here past these past this imbalance that we're trying to play off of right now Something to spot on NASDAQ. Again, similar situation. We can still chart up and mark up all of that shit without having the feeling the need to take a trade at all, right? ISTP is at 48075, 48075. We'll see if NASDAQ breaks this. Lots of consolidation today. Hmm. We haven't made our move yet. For market open, right? We see this hourly candle with 30 minutes of market open and 30 minutes of pre-market. Not much of not much movement at all. We should expect a lot more movement to start coming in. You said Naz is dumping? It looks like it's doing the opposite, brother. Here we go. Let's get the S&P up and active. If you guys got stopped out on this, you guys need to think about a lot of things, <laughs> okay? So when I place my little tool on here, it's to give you guys one, where my entry is and where my point of invalidation is, okay? So my entry was right here and my point of invalidation is under here. 
right? So that means I want these these lows to get like fully taken out and like almost closed underneath for me to be like, yeah, this area is invalid. But for the most part, I'll usually put my stop one to two ticks. I don't know if it's doing the grab shit. Like one to two ticks underneath there. And it used to, I don't know where it went, but I used to have like a, a channel in here that talked about, um, you know, how to set your stop loss or how you can follow my trades. And that was one of the rules to make sure that your stop loss is always two or three points, two or three ticks, whatever it is to cover for spread. So you don't get stopped out. Right. Because if, if my stop loss was directly on these prices, I probably would have been stopped out like right up here at this price. Right. So if this price point is my invalidation, I want to cover for spread and also for potential of something like this happening, the price is being equal. This is not why you have a mental stop loss ever at all. Actually, this is just teaching you guys how to place a proper stop loss, cover your lows. Let's like, for me, it was, I don't know why, but I always assumed that this was like a well-known concept to people, but I'm just now starting to realize, like, as I have a discord that it's not a well-known concept at all. Um, so obviously set a stop loss, but give your stop loss like two or three ticks at the minimum of like breathing room from these lows. And again, this tool that I put on here is to show entry point and invalidation point, right? Take profits can be direct and exact prices, but let's say like, okay, also for you guys too, let's say you guys got filled like up here. Right? Maybe you're going to want your stop loss to be different based on that entry point because it's different than where I entered. Right? These are things, this is why I hate signal groups and why I hate like signal rooms in general because people, every single person is going to have a different trading, trading strategy. Everyone's risk management is going to be different. Everyone is going to be. And literally everybody is going to be different in terms of entry, in terms of stop loss, in terms of take profit, the everything is going to be different. Okay. So by trying to copy somebody's like tr trade word for word, bar for bar, it's impossible because everyone's entry is going to be different. People's risk tolerance is going to be different. People's account sizes are going to be different. People's profit taking strategies are going to be different. So what you can do is you can use these zoom calls to help you see all of those things that I do. Like, why is he entering where, why, why is this his invalidation price? Why is this a take profit? Why is this a take profit area and use that to your advantage to your own trading. You should be trying to watch these videos and learn about why I'm entering, why I'm exiting and why I'm taking profits at certain points, not trying to just copy and paste for money. And I know that's really difficult. And that's probably why you guys joined in here. You remember the channel, uh, the extra couple points on the stop. Lovely. Right. I think that that was in there a lot for a long, long time, but all I'm saying is I want you guys to use these, these calls to your advantage. I don't know. As of recently, I've been getting like looking into a lot more of like just success in general and how to teach success or how to help others succeed when you're already successful. And that's really like my next goal is to be able to teach you guys how to do what I'm doing and not just give you guys what I'm doing. Right. And I think that's even just like a lot, like the strategy shit. I'm still giving you what I'm doing. I'm not teaching you how to do it. So I want to be able to find a way. And that's really what I'm doing with the mastermind. It's like, I want to be able to give you guys a way to learn the skill because I feel like with me just giving you a strategy, off a YouTube video, 
you're not learning a skill. You're learning a copy and paste step-by-step -step routine that won't take you anywhere. Versus if you learn how the markets move and if you learn and grow like intuition, market intuition by yourself and say like, I remember, bro, there's literally points in times when I'm looking at the market and I'll get like PTSD of shit that happened to me like two years ago from the market. And I'm just like, holy shit, like I shouldn't do something right here and right now, or I've seen this before and I learned from it. It's, it, and it all just comes with time and it's impossible to teach time. But if I'm able to teach you guys skills and teach you guys lessons that I learned over my time, hopefully that can cut your time in half. Hopefully that can cut, hopefully that can accelerate your skill building as we approach take profit one on this trade. Again, this shouldn't be like, copy and paste TJR time. This should be like, how can I look at how, like, how can I, how can I look at a chart and just know that it has a higher probability of going a certain, uh, uh, to a certain spot and not to a different spot. You've been in the discord for over a year and you're finally profitable. Look, man, this is why I do this shit because like, this is one of the few, I guess, like courses or like things where you guys will eventually not become a recurring customer. You know, like you guys, you guys shouldn't, you get, there should be an end, you know? Like there, you guys shouldn't continue to pay for shit. So yeah, I look at you guys as people, not consumers. Like, bro, it's just really crazy. Cause I don't know. I feel like a lot of you could, could already be where you want to be if you just changed like the way that you think about a lot of things. Um, and that's really like as simple as I could put it. Um, you guys just need to change the way that you think about things. Like you probably joined this discord to originally, you know, take my trades, whatever. But now that you're in here and I'm having this conversation with you, maybe you should change how you think about this shit. And maybe you should look at this more as a fucking like skill building thing where you come in here and you already have your daily bias written out and your strategy. And then you come in here and see how I execute and see how I look at the markets and see reasonings for why I'm not entering and reasons for why I'm entering and see reasons for why I'm exiting and why you maybe thought that, um, this, like you shouldn't be, you should be like exiting, you know? And if you're able to do that, then you'll be able to learn the skill that you pretty much been wanting to learn, which is the skill that I have through like the trades that I'm taking as this shit ends up pushing way farther down, not towards TP1. But if you think about the main reason why you're in here, you're, you're not here to make money. You're here to learn and the money will come. That was said perfectly. Um, and if you can just sit there and understand that and understand that this is going to take a long, long time, but the skill of trading is what's going to end up making me money. Then you'll be able to focus on learning the skill of trading and not on the, and not on the money. And then from there, you become obsessed with becoming a good trader and you become obsessed with being successful in the market. And if you become obsessed with being successful in the market, money will come no matter what. If you get so obsessed and so like in love with the feeling of winning a trade and 
And if you get really like discouraged and almost like obsessive of when you lose a trade and, and get into why you lost and how you could have done better, that's when shit's going to change for you. And the second you fucking separate yourself from the money and trading is the second the money will start coming in. And the second you step, you take one step closer to making money and trading. Literally, the second that you step away from money, from trading, is when money will start coming in. The second you start prioritizing, hey, let's not trade on live. Let's trade on demo. You know, like you're fucking set. If you're like, look, I just want to be really fucking good at analyzing these candlesticks. And that's why trading is so hard because you can be really fucking good. You can be really, really fucking good at trading on demo, but then, but then who knows, right? Once money starts getting involved, that's when you start freaking out again. If you can literally make money, not a part of the equation, you'll 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 kill it in this shit and that's what really happened for me is i made a bunch of money in crypto and i was trying to learn trading for the money and made money in crypto and then now it's like it's like i had this safety net of okay well at least i have at least i have um you know, this crypto money stuffed off to the side, at least I have that. So now let me just focus on, okay, I don't really need trading for the money. I can just fucking sit my ass down and, you know, trade, not focus on money at all. Sit here and just be like, yeah, I have a bunch of money tucked away. I was able to jump into a live account with decent amount of money without even having to worry about that money that I was spending. So if you guys are able to kind of get into that and um, I don't know, make it so you either have a full-time job or a lot of money put away where you, like if you're trying to get into trading for the money, you probably don't even like trading in the first place. Like, let's be honest. Like if you don't actually love day trading, you shouldn't be you shouldn't be trading. If you don't actually love the feeling of being correct and knowing where the market is going to go on a daily basis, you're this probably isn't for you. Maybe you should go into something that you actually love. What do you love? Figure out what you love. For me, I love the idea of saying, fuck the banks. That was literally like one of my biggest things. I hated people telling me what to do and trading helped me get out of it. I loved doing what people told me I couldn't do. Trading helped me do that. I loved being like an anomaly. I loved being the person that was just rare and different and weird. And because of that, I was like, cool. That's what I loved. I loved being fucking different. And, you know, for me, trading helped me, helped me do that. And yeah, it took a lot of fucking time and effort, but I loved doing what I did because people made fun of me for it. And I thought it was fucking dope because I knew damn well I was going to be shitting on them in a couple years or, you know, like a couple months. You're a popular loner, for real? I'm, yeah, literally fucking pinpoint description of your boy. Popular loner. Like, yeah, I had, like everyone thought I was cool, but was I ever like that fucking, you know? I wouldn't really say so. I was always just trying to do my own shit. I hated, I literally, that was the biggest thing, bro. I hated people telling me what to do. I really, really hated it. So, you know, what did I want to do? Do get to a point where no one could fucking tell me what to do ever. And now I'm at that point. It's fucking, it's awesome. And now I have different loves and I have different passions. And, you know, it's, dude, it's like trading has, has helped me 
in so many ways, man. And it's, uh, I don't know, dude. It's just fucking awesome to be able to have a skill of looking at stupid ass candlesticks moving up and down on a chart that indicate the price of the U S economy. And a, a fucking 21 year old like me can sit down here and say, yeah, I, I think the U S economy is going to fucking go down 1% today and be right about it. Or I think, or I think that the, that this stock or this crypto is going to increase in money. And I have, and I have conviction and actual reasoning behind it and I'm right. And 90% of other people aren't able to do that. That's what gives me fucking joy. Glad you find someone that's actually real and not just selling a course. Yeah, man, fuck them. Literally like, bro, I've had, especially recently, I've had so many people reaching out to me and like, they're just coming to me for like money grabs and like, I don't know. It's almost like they don't even fucking know who the fuck I am. Like, bro, this isn't, this is my money grab. Like my computer, like I already did the money grab. Like I, sh I, like I shit on, I shit on the government and the banks every day. Like that's who I want to shit on and I want everybody else to be able to shit on them too. Like it feels like I'm having a boot camp conversation with you guys and that was really when I was like in my purest form when I could just let loose and talk to you guys like some fucking real ass jits and shoot the shit. Because like, bro, I love shitting on people who, I love shitting on people who tell others what to do. And that's what banks do. That's what the government does. That's all they are. They're just control freaks. So if I can have a community full of people and their sole purpose is to shit on the people that I hate, that I love shitting on, let's make a fucking community full of people that are really fucking good at this shit who can shit on the government and shit on the banks with me. And that's really my goal. Like to give you guys the, the joy that I get every single day of shitting on banks and government and anybody else who tries to tell you what to do, whether it be your parents, whether it be your older siblings, some insight on me, my parents were really fucking strict and they didn't like what I was doing at all with the trading shit. If you take it back even earlier, like no offense to him, but like my older brother was, was really fucking mean to me. And I, like, I felt bullied by him constantly. And now like he texted me yesterday asking me for business advice. Do I feel like super hot headed? Like, oh yeah. Like I'm shitting on you now. No, but did I prove like my brother and my parents and everybody who tried to tell me who I was and everybody who, who like was t trying to tell me what to do and when to do it. Like, did, did I listen to them? Hell no, bro. And now like, look where I'm at. Like all of those people are coming up to me and telling me, holy shit. Like you're that man. You're, you're so good at this. You're so good at that. It's because I did what I wanted and I did what I loved because I like, I loved, I loved having freedom, bro. And now I do think we're going to hit take profit one, hopefully. It's literally all it is. I don't know what it, I like. I love having freedom. I love being able to do whatever I want with my day. I love being able to eat what I want. I love being able to literally, I love having control over my life. That's really all it is.
Jesus, now this shit's going back down again. What a chop fest. Yeah, some pretty shitty price action today if you ask ask a brother like me, even though I'm not a brother. Oh, man. Bruh. What is this chop? Some pretty shitty price action right now. said it's a rare inverse head and shoulders. But yeah, man, I don't know. I, I think um, a big thing in uh, just making money online um, is just about doing what you love. So do that. Do what you love, um, and work will be easy. Really fucking easy. I loved, I was fucking obsessed with trading, and look where it took me. It became easy for me to practice it, for me to learn it, for me to be able to develop it, um, and understand it. And I'm not gonna sit here and bullshit you guys, and try and, um... I don't even know, convince you guys to buy my mentorship, to buy my masterclass, like, I don't really give a fuck about that. Like, obviously I'm going to have you guys pay for my time, but in reality, do what you guys love, and you know, if you guys love what I love, I'll be really a fucking, really passionate teacher to you guys. Like, yeah. I don't know, like, wouldn't you want to have a mentor that's just like, I don't know, like, I just wish that more people were honest and like true to what they love doing. And for me, I love trading and I love teaching people and I love helping people and like, that's something that I just learned about myself. Like I lo just learned that I love teaching people and I love helping other people become successful. Like I have helped, how many people? I, I've helped 10 people technically make six figures a year at this point now because they work for me. And you know, I don't know if they really love what they're doing, love the work that they're doing, but they sure as hell are very appreciative of what I've done for them and I'm very appreciative for what I've done, what they've done for me. So, like, what, what do I do for them in turn? Boom, like, they get, they get paid six figures a year. Like, I'm, yeah. Anyways, Take Profit One just got hit. Let's clap it up. Let me toss this on the Snapchat. Mink. Yeah. Lovely. Move that stop to break even.
See if we can hit take profit too. You're $20 away from passing a funded. You probably just pass it with that second candle. Your boys, yeah, he said that shit right after he said your boys funded. Hell yeah, man, we're fucking crushing it. NASDAQ ended up playing out just how we wanted. We got that break of structure to the upside. We saw a fill of the fair value gaps. We saw entries, right? Maybe we entered off this candle, stops underneath here. We were in a bit of a drawdown, but boom, price would have hit our take profit. Hey man, I love what y'all are saying in the chat right now. I really appreciate y'all. Um, I'm just, again, bro, just trying to be real with you guys. Um, help you guys out. Like, we've obviously been killing it in trading in the new year. Um, I've been trading how I want to. And hopefully you guys see that and acknowledge that and appreciate that. And say, like, look, TJR might be... Um, in the world of scammers, you are a real one. I appreciate it, man. Um, but yeah, man, as you guys start seeing this, um, you know, hopefully this uh, can, you know, watching these videos helps you guys learn more, bro. Because like I'm posting daily bias, market recaps, and now live trades on YouTube like every single day that if anything, that's like more than enough information than like a strategy video that tells you that you're gonna get rich, bro. Best skimmer, scammer, nicest scammer ever. Yeah, man, fucking, everyone drop a W scammer in the chat for me. Thank you, bro. Hell yeah. We do this shit. I love y'all, man. And I love being able to work on shit to help you guys, bro. Like, Palaview, the prop firm, the mastermind. Like, I don't know. I'm thinking about, like, thinking about all of those businesses, all of those, like, literally all of that. Like, it's for the benefit of you guys, so you guys can do what I do, <laughs> literally. How do you get into the mastermind? There's a, there's a link to it in the Discord. If you, it says, uh, get lifetime access and you can um, join the mentorship. And you, all of you guys have a discount on it. And it starts in eight days. So... If you guys want to join that, let me know. It's literally a month long of the shit that we've been um, talking about. Like, it's literally like a month long of, you know, that hour conversation or that long ass um, conversation that we, me and you had. Like, it's going to be a lot of that helping you get your guys psychology right help you guys get your risk management right and then, you know, teach you guys how to actually properly trade and get into all of your guys' individual um, issues, bro. Like a lot of people have pre-made courses and pre-made videos that will not help individual questions and won't help individuals succeed in their trading. And I feel like I've gotten a really good job at looking at other people and identifying what's wrong with their trading and their trading strategy, whether it be in their strategy or just in their head. A lot of the times it's in their head and how they think about things. And I feel like over the past year, I've gotten really good at identifying like mental imbalances in people and you know, where people lack like a certain mindset and I'm able to get in there. Biggest fear right now. My biggest thing right now is fear and second guessing my knowledge. Then get to the point where you believe in yourself so much where you no longer have 
fear and you no longer feel the need to second guess. So trade on demo until you get so confident in your, in your trading that you would, you would actually be willing to place a bet on your trades. You know when you're a, let's say you're a really fucking good basketball player and you can just whoop everybody's ass in, in one-on-one. -on -one. Every single person that comes up to you, wouldn't you want to place a thousand dollar bet that you would be able to beat them in one-on-one? -on -one? Probably, right? Think about trading the same way. If you're so fucking good at trading and you can, and, and you're like that confident in yourself, you should be able to wake up every single morning, sit in front of the charts and be willing to bet money that you are going to be correct that day. That's literally what trading is. Betting on a skill that you have. That's all it is. Betting on a skill that you have. And if you suck ass at, and if you don't have the skill and you suck ass at it, you're going to be unprofitable. But if you're good at it and you actually have the skill, you're, you're going to be profitable. All that trading is, is you betting on a skill that you have. That's literally all it is, bro. It's not, that's, that's literally it. What's the skill? Predicting where the market's going to go and where it's not going to go. We've been, I, like, I don't know if anybody's been noticing, but we've been trading really well in 2024. Or, at least I have. NASDAQ is pushing. Let's see if we can get to take profit too. Yeah, we're three and one. It's pretty good. And the one loss, after we took that loss, we um, we won the next trade the same day. So literally not a single losing day so far. Pretty awesome. Forex markets have been asked. Yeah, I've moved away from Forex, especially now that the meta quotes thing and all of that. You know what I want to do, though? I want to... I want to shit on all of these funded traders, and I want to get funded with, like... I don't know, $2 million in funding. I think that shit would be hilarious. So much more confident with my trades this past month. That's literally all, bro. A lot of it just comes down to confidence. Someone said Paladin who? I've actually never talked to Paladin. He seems like a cool and smart guy though, for sure. Get a cop funded copy trader. I know. I do really want to try that out and do the funded account shit. I think it would entertain me. Confidence will destroy all of your emotions. Facts. You want to know something crazy? When people call you like overconfident or when people say like, I don't even know. Like when people say you're overconfident or you're cocky, it's like, Bro, why, why is that, why are, why do people say that's a bad thing, right? Like, why is being proud of myself bad? Why is me believing in myself bad? Why is me saying that I'm good at something bad? Maybe because everybody else is insecure at how much they suck at everything. Like, if I'm good at trading, I'm going to say that. Oh, don't be cocky. Like, what? You gotta be, gotta be humble. Bro, there's no such thing as being cocky. Like, if you call someone cocky or if you call someone overconfident, like, or arrogant, it's like, bro, that's more of a tell on you than the person that you're talking about. Like if I say, oh, I guarantee you I'd beat you in a one-on-one -on, -one on basketball and I'm willing to put $20,000 
on it because that's nothing to me. If I said that, someone would be like, well, 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 bro, that you're such a fucking cocky. Like, why would you even do $20,000? Because $20,000 isn't anything to me. Why are you being so cocky right now? Why don't you do it for less? Because, because I'm, I'm, I'm saying a fact, $20,000 is nothing to me. People just don't, people really don't like listening to facts that, that like nobody else has, you know? Like, oh, I, I bought my TRX in cash. Well, <laughs> like what, like what, what do you want me to do? You know, like it's a, immediately, it's everyone just screaming and yelling remarks. And it's like, holy shit, you guys are so self-conscious. Like you guys like don't have any bread. Dude's dodging my questions like crazy. What was your question, bro? Is there gonna be another mastermind? Yeah, there will be. Thoughts on manifestation? Manifestation just convinces your mind and your body to take the actions that you should have been taking right now, that you couldn't convince yourself to do right now. So manifestation helps you convince yourself to do it. Manifestation is, man, the only reason why manifestation works is because you convince your brain and you convince yourself to start taking actions that you wouldn't have done in the first place that get you to where you wanna go. That's literally all it is. Speak on f more Forex recently. Um, no, nah, I'd prefer not to. I'd, I'd, I don't want to trade Forex. I will, um, I feel like this is a good pl place to stop, boys. I think I'm going to go ahead and end this right here, okay? Take profit two. I will keep you guys updated if it ends up getting hit. Again, another awesome trading day today. Some gems were dropped in terms of knowledge. I appreciate you guys. Thank you guys for tuning in. I'll catch you guys for the market recap on YouTube. All right, peace out, boys.